What up, y'all? It's your boy AD and that's all day. I'm in the spot. How y'all doing today? Talking to y'all out here on the road. First thing I want to say is shout out to Mr. Elite, man. I see what happened with my man. I know he going through some stuff with his son. So my prayers is out to you, bro, man. We here for you, man. Because I know it's not easy, you know, doing this MGTOW stuff and trying to be a real man is not easy because we live in a world that wants to down it and wants to shame it and wants to belittle any type of realness in men. It's a very hard struggle, struggle. And I don't never talk down about no men going through it, you know, because everybody always want to talk mess about men. But this video, though, this video is going to be called... So they think that we're the bad guys. It's, it's kind of like the video I made where I was like, so they think that we're the thirsty ones. And the reason why I say they think we're the bad guys is because they do. Like women are so mentally brainwashed nowadays from the media, from a one-sided biased media and propaganda that they really think that men are bad, men are evil, men are stupid, men will do their other cheaters. Men are the ones who do the bad shit. Men just, you see, every time you turn around, I, I be trying to tell mugs, like, do y'all not understand the patterns that's going on in the media? Like, y'all really think men are this stupid because all they ever talk about is negative stuff involving men. It's hella shit going on. Shit, there's more women out here than men, but for some odd reason, men are always one of the ones, the bad guys. That's why they're foolish because they don't know how to look at common sense and logic and understand that, come on, what's the odds of that even being true or possible? And why is the media and every other TV show and every radio station and everything you look at, like, why is it so one-sided? You know, why do they act like women are so perfect? Like, they don't, like, even when you know a woman do something wrong, they'll sit there and act like she didn't do nothing wrong. Well, clear as day, common sense. See, that's what's fucking their head up because they're not getting any fingers pointed at them. Just like how they don't like to be a cannibal, the media is sitting there taking a, their hand out, you know, they kissing their ass, letting them, letting them be some bullshit, letting them think they some shit that they really not, you know what I'm saying? And that's why it's so annoying. I mean, they'll really believe any little stupid thing. They'll really think like, that's why I feel like women are so judgmental of us today. Because they don't see nothing good in us anyways. They don't respect us. They don't view us as people that are worth anything. Because all they do is hear bad shit about us. And we never get any recognition for anything that we do. You see, even when we're famous or even when we're talented, even when we have money, they're still trying to embarrass us and make us look like fools. And that's what I cannot stand. And that's what I don't like. Because they do that shit way too often. Now I'm pissed off because I'm like, ugh, why this car gotta be red? Hold on, y'all. Right, damn stupid ass car, but I just parked it all oh, in the middle of the street. But yeah, y'all see what I'm saying, man. Like, they, and, and it's so funny, it's so ironic because most of the time it's them. Like, and they've been tricking women the whole time to think bad guy. I mean, guys are bad and all of this. But it's to keep women from not understanding that it might just be your ass. But you're too busy thinking it's men all the time. So you're too blind and too, you know, fake to admit the wrong that you do and what's not perfect about you. Always quick to talk about some guys and what they do. But I never talk about another woman and what she doing. Even when the woman is doing something. I see it all the time. Like even when somebody does something justifiable as a man. Like if a man do something and react a certain way as he should. Oh no, he's violent. Oh no, he's this. Oh no, he's abusive. Oh no, he's a bad guy. Oh no. Like they don't want. Like you see the only time they ever up talk us men anymore is when shit if you claim you homosexual or you a drag queen or something that's the only way they'll up talk you as a man do do that become a homosexual or become a drag queen or something there you go now all of a sudden now all of a sudden you're loved and liked by the media now all of a sudden they're gonna and like i said people are so full it's like they can't see these patterns they start believing but they don't start thinking 
Instead of just believing the bullshit, they need to start really thinking and asking why and how. If they could ask these questions and really think about the situation, they will realize like, oh, they're trying to keep men down. Because men are the builders. Men are the providers. Men are strong. Men will stand up for what's wrong. Men will do a lot. So stop trying to make us seem like we're nothing when that is not true. Then they wonder why, you see, you got a whole bunch of chicks out here now that don't even want us for us and just want for our money. That's why Muzz is walking away. That's why MGTOW exists because it's getting to the point where it's at that point where women don't respect us no more and want to actually spend time with us and get to know us for who we are. It's to the point where women only care if you got a lot of status and money and if you're goofy enough to give it. That's the only time they care. Like, you can have a lot of money and shit, but if you ain't that fool, that dummy, that's willing to really just give it to them and be stupid, they'd rather be alone. This is how these women operate now. Oh, I got to lower the phone. I see police over here. Lower the phone. I wonder what they over there for. That's an eye spot. All right, let me raise the phone back up. But yeah, it's a rainy day. But that's real though, what I'm saying though. It's to that point. That's why I know, that's why at this rate, no woman is ever gonna have that special guy. It's never gonna happen. These women really in their minds think that some dude of high caliber and status and looks is gonna really accept them for nothing and pay their lives for nothing and kiss their ass and let them do whatever they want. That's what every woman want nowadays because they're narcissistic assholes and they think that they're better than everyone. So since they think that, and they think that men ain't worth it anyways, now they feel like, oh, well, we should get the best out of them. You see how these women act. They could just be okay and then they, they think they're fine as fuck. They could just be average and they think they fine as fuck and deserve the world. I just be shaking my head. That's another topic, how they put basic average ass women up on a pedestal to keep making you think that they worth something. Because they know damn well women ain't worth nothing but they looks. They ain't offering shit, and anybody with any common sense will know that. I, I shake my head at a lot of men, because a lot of men be getting with these girls that don't be doing shit. They don't be putting on them for nothing. They don't fucking clean up. They, don't, they be some lazy-ass girls, and these dudes be going. I be shaking my head like, see, that's the problem now. Y'all making it worse. Y'all giving these hoes something for nothing. F that. I'm at the gas station, though. I'm finna get some gas. But... I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Y'all understand where I'm coming from, though. But I'm going to come out with some more stuff. Much love. Shouts out to the people, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And your boy, Adia, be back. Holla at you.